<laughs> okay guys, quickly, the serve. The most important shot in the game, right? You get complete control. You get to take a ball, throw it up over your head, and hit it down to your opponent as hard as you would like. I'd say that's an advantage, right? An advantage? You get two chances to get your serve in. Um, there's two key principles that we're gonna go over. There's lots of different checkpoints, things you wanna keep in mind, but there's two main principles. One is that the serve is a throwing motion. So as if I wanted to take this racket and throw as far as I could, ooh, that's how I would do it. I would coil my body, my links, I'd bring the racket over my head, just like if you think about a baseball pitcher. Has anyone ever played baseball before? Has anyone ever thrown a ball as far as they can before? Yeah, I'm sure Douglas has, I'm sure Emily has. You guys are, look like you played some baseball, you have good throwing motion. But you gotta be careful, it's you guys that have to be careful. Because you're thinking, oh, throwing motion, I have that baseball, I'm gonna be able to crush this thing. But that's not true. If you don't have the second concept, which is really hard, which is why I need you guys to pay attention for this next few minutes, okay? If you don't pay attention, you're gonna be struggling with this forever. The second concept is pronation. It's, it's the inward to outward rotation of the forearm. In other words, a lot of you guys that haven't served before, if you just think throwing motion, what everyone does is they use kind of a pancake grip, which I already talked to you about. You're saying, oh, my serve motion is pretty good. But you also, just like everyone, Emily, you, you have the forehand grip and you put your racket kind of in this pointing up frying pan position. You'll never see any of these pros in a position like this where your strings are pointed up. But that's what makes sense to the brain, right? It puts the string straight to the ball. Well, you're going to see of these videos, every pro comes at the ball at the edge of the racket and then you see your for their forearm turn out to the hit. There's a couple reasons for that. One is so you can hit spin over your head um, because you have to hit over that net. Even on the serve where you're throwing it up over your head and hitting down, you're still either hitting spin to make it safer and go up or you're at least hitting forward, pronating forward to hit forward on the ball. You never, you have to be like over seven feet tall to actually have the angle to hit straight down. So it's tempting to want to try to spike it down, but that's where it's a little different from volleyball and uh, other sports. But all right, so let's take a look at some pros here real quick. This is Roger Federer, number one in the world. All right now, you can kind of see the body coiled and the elbow back. This is that throwing position that we talked about. Okay, so I think we can learn that pretty easy. We'll just go out and throw a ball as far as we can. Now here's where that weird motion happens. You're gonna see his racket fly around the edge of the, the, almost the wrong side of the racket coming at the ball. Now you're gonna see his forearm pronate to the hip. He's number one in the world? Uh, he's not right now number one in the world, but he's, he's, yeah, but he's, I think he's three or three in the world. All right now see how he finishes out? See how he finishes out in the wristwatch position? Like if he had a watch on his hand, he'd be able to see the wristwatch. And then he's gonna cross over his opposite arm. We call this kind of the power X position. Also a little different from baseball, where your body can just completely open up more. Tennis, your body stays more turned, okay? Now, for this reason that pronation is so important, I think it's important to learn a spin serve first. So in other words, you're gonna spin serve, and I think this might be a spin serve, we'll look at one that definitely is. You're gonna hit the ball kind of as the racket's pronating, so the arm's a little less extended, contact's on the inside of the hand. So you're kind of striking ball, if this was a clock, you're kind of striking ball from seven to one, a forward spin that'll help it go down, okay? Now, the best way to think about it is kind of almost like a forehand top spin ground stroke. So what do you do to hit top spin on your forehand? You close your racket below the ball, and you brush up, right? Well, with the grip and being calmed down, it kind of closes the racket face below the ball. And now look, I'm leaving in with this edge, and I'm gonna brush forward on the ball, and it's gonna go forward over the net. Um, and it's so important, guys. I'll show you, we can go over any pro you want, name a pro, and we'll show it to you, and they're doing this on their second serve. Um, it doesn't matter if it's Sloan Stevens, Roger Federer, doesn't matter. Here's that hairbrush position, right? This is a very important position. I almost never see beginners or newer players in this hairbrush. They're almost always in this palm up position. And we might film you guys today and look at, take a look at your serves when you think you got it and see if you're really calm down. So here's that edge of the racket coming ball. Doesn't this look weird? 
Looks like she's going to chop the ball in half. Now this is the first flat serve I can tell because she's hitting it more at the end of the pronation. And there's that wrist watch position finishing out. Okay, one more to check out Sloan Stevens. But I, like I said, I think you should start by learning a spin serve. So I want everyone to go out there and start by learning a spin serve. Let's see if it's a spin or a flat serve here. Kind of like a spin serve. The body's a little more sideways, her racket's really turning out along the baseline. Okay, so we're gonna do a couple of drills, progressions, where we're just gonna have you start from here and think throw and try to learn, try to get spin over your head, and that's the best way to start to learn the serve. Okay, you guys ready to give it a shot? 